We're coming into Wita Wai, we'll be staying for the next two nights, very, very remote. <laughs> What a welcoming party. <laughs> I'm getting all teary. <laughs> wow, what a welcoming party. You've been dancing. Loads of kids. Wow. Staying somewhere down here. Hello, Abinun. So, this is our home for two nights. where we're staying for two nights. <laughs> Lots of people walking on. It's amazing. A lot of people think they only do it for tourists, but this is the real culture from this area. So they were already doing it a long time. Mm -hmm. So this is a very authentic place. Because in Chimbu you have a lot of... Uh, people living far away from the main highway and the life the life over here is more difficult than people who are very close to the highway because everything everything you buy the further away you go becomes more expensive as well yes plus they have less possibilities to make money there yes so it's very hard life on behalf of waterfall families communities the children 
and strike orders. I take this time to thank you very much. From Goroga to this place, you will never face any consequences. No, absolutely no. David knows. I would like to thank David because without, without David, he wouldn't be here. I'm grateful to David for his hard, hard working. Uh, it's a great man here helping us a lot. Witawai Mountain. So the whole area is called Witawai, also Witawai Waterfall. You see the one with the table on the bottom. To David, who's um, helped us immensely over the last few days with more to come. It's uh, a lovely thing to come to a community where people are so obliging and happy to see you. I can feel the genuine love within all you people and uh, we feel the same back to you. So um, on that note, we wish you good luck and good fortune and with this project that you've got going on, I think it'll be a wonderful thing for your community. Thank you. So this bag is from uh, this lady here. This is where we're staying, this little house, very basic. And that's my room and Tony's room. <laughs> It's been raining all night. Everything's very muddy. But what a view. Uh, <laughs> she's cleaning our shoes for us. <laughs> they were very, very muddy. <laughs> Beautiful view. That's a school down there. It's Independence Day today. And everyone's getting their face painted. What a welcoming. Oh, 
Kamata wa kamando singa you ready. With me on this day to say something with us. Thank you. Thank you everybody. Today, on this wonderful day, I want to congratulate the people of Papua New Guinea for their Independence Day. So, thank you. And uh, we are very happy to be here. We have uh, here some people from uh, Australia. Raise your hand. Yeah. Four people from Australia. We also have one uh, lady from the USA and one man from India. There's a bird of paradise, birds on his headdress. There's one man. The local MP has just arrived. Independence Day celebrations. This is the local MP has just arrived.
Inside a classroom, grade three. They are planting sweet potato. Our stable food. Yes. So the food's coming out of the bamboo. So what is that? Chicken. Chicken, and it's got um, what, bush leaves and spices. So that's chicken with spices cooked in a bamboo. in tears. It's, it's very special to them. Thank you very much. Yeah. Much appreciated. David. My son is also a leader. One more, one more. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Oh, oi, oi. <laughs> one more, David. Yeah. One more, dude. Right. How about you do it? Oi, oi, oi. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> one, more. one more. Wait, wait, wait. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Oi, oi, oi.
Why don't you do like a shimbu? One more, one more. Sisters, they believe that the, this water are very special. When ladies want to get married, before they choose their partners, they have to go into that pool. My sisters in the past, they got married to two to three wives. Spirits of the waterfall help them so that they can find the two to three wives at that time. And then when they want to go travel fight, they have to go into that water. So all our people around this community normally respect this water. So during that time, uh, we have the bad spirits around. Normally the bad spirit take care of our waterfall. So that is why we perform uh, our bad spirits today. Because they are the only people who take care of our waterfall during the night. Yep. Okay, got you. So we perform this uh, bad spirit. Yep to keep memorizing our two pools. Yep. We're leaving. We'll walk up to the bus. Quick stop at the local market. We're moving on to the skeleton tribe. They're even selling the feathers, which are prized possession. Buy a couple of cold cokes. We've moved into the skeleton eco lodge. Looks very organized. Cabins. That's Tony and my cabin, and down here is the restaurant. That's the kitchen, the bar, and the restaurant. Again, my name is Kawage. Uh, I will uh, translate you. We are looking for uh, animals. They are hunting for animals like bow, wild pigs, and um, I also uh, hunt for spiders. Also, for spiders. And nuts. So the monster was how to kill the girl. Such a boy. But he saw that his sister was sleeping. Yeah. So he went yeah. back to his father. Yeah. Say, father, come and see something wrong. Yeah. Who killed my daughter? He's asking. Yeah. 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 The old man trying his best to kill the monster. The monster cannot climb up the tree, he has a long, long tail. So our fathers they usually, uh, usually climb up the tree to save themselves. So the monster grabbed the boy and went into the cave. He said, uh, I lost one of my uh, daughters. She asked her husband said, uh, <laughs> The monster was killed by the tribesmen, skeleton tribesmen. When a lady is going for gardening, men going for hunting, or children going for their pleasure, and they come out of the cave and they kill many of our people. So nowadays we call the tribes to come together and we kill down the monster. 
So there is no more monster in the forest. Uh, Masala uh, ghost uh, man, he present you one of his uh, madmen. You are visiting the madmen already, and the skeleton. Oh, Look to the skeleton. Beautiful. He is designing this, uh, Mr. Uh, Gabriel. Thank you, Gabriel. Thank Aaron, you very uh, much. David and I, I'll you met him. I can't. <laughs> he stayed with you, you, you at least a week at the Asaro, yeah. and Mr. David son. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, my daughter, Mary, Aww. she gave you a mask, a present for you, and a skeleton mask. Happy birthday. Uh, thank you very nice much. Nice to meet you, Mr. Really. Thank you. Oh, that's uh, lovely. I feel so blessed. Uh, Sam here yeah, is uh, one of our uh, uh, designer of the skeleton. He's, uh, he's a artist, and he designed all these people, and he gave you a present. Happy birthday. Oh, birthday. Good. Thank you very oh, much. Oh, wow. The skeleton oh, mask. Thank you. Good. What, am I spoiled or what? <laughs> thank you, guys. Yeah. Thank you. They put us on you. Birthday. Happy birthday. To you. Thank you. It's my best birthday. Good. Yeah. Happy birthday. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. Happy birthday, Gabriel. Thank you. Another guy is coming late. Oh. His name is uh, UP, and he's, uh, he's one of the artists. He, he designed all his uh, uh, canvas lap, uh, throwing at the back. When you go around, you will see them later. So he gave you one present. Wow. Uh, so and a skeleton. Fantastic. I'll keep, I'll treasure these. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Sam, we'll uh, yeah, I'll have to get photos of Yubi. this and this. I hear the people okay. of the table. Yeah, thank thank you. You. They are the artists and design all this. In the past, uh, our ancestors, uh, they normally believe uh, that uh, there is a ghost. It's something like a spirit living inside a cave. And uh, it comes around, attack the human being, go for hunting or let us go for gardening. People are disappeared by this uh, spirit, this ghost. He got this uh, human being, take it to the cave and then eat them up and leave the bones there. And then come back again and grab the people like this. So many people in the village are lost. <coughs> okay, people, they start to go inside the cave and they find out that there is a bones there. So now people come back again, they make a plan to attack this ghost. And then one day, people come with different ideas, but the one person come with a skeleton <laughs> painting on their body. And then faint, and then go inside, and move the skeleton away, and then go and hide. Some of the very strong warriors go inside and hide with the skeleton paint on their body, and camouflage with the bones. And then the ghost, the in the night, the ghost come into the cave, and then come and sleep, the strong boys are easily attacked and kill the ghost. Uh -huh. uh, this is uh, what the, our story they performed the show here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> they made the work paint. Ooh, okay. Yeah, from the limestone. From the limestone. Yeah. So the black is ash from ash, the fire. Ash from the fire. And the white is limestone. From the limestone. Which they grind down. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> it might look steep, that's because it is steep. And it's wet and it's muddy and it's slippery. But apart from that, easy. It's a great day out. That's it. Beautiful day out. How was that, Reggie? Pretty good? <laughs> Did you scrap onto the tree with this spine? No, not It's a baby trap. This is a trap here. Yeah. They didn't warn me. You made it. Yeah, well Treacherous. Yeah. 
Come on, David. Oh, we're done. That was that. <laughs> okay. Interesting. So these are the insect hunters they used to that still do collect insects and cook them. Okay, now they start to cook now. They collect some insects like uh, grasshopper, frogs. Frogs. In the past, uh, some hundred of years ago, um, this village, uh, they are the first people they make how to make the fire. One person know how to make the fire and then um, transfer all the fire to everybody. And then they light them on their heads. And then uh, when people go for hunting or gardening or killing insects, they want to cook, uh, they just cook on, on, on their head. They're cooking insects on their heads. Mm. A spider or some other insect? They yeah. want to eat one. You yeah. want to try? Yeah, yeah I'll try. Yeah. If you want to taste some, you can taste it. Yeah. Mm. They can cook it for you. And also when they meet other people in the jungle, they can just give it to them. Sweet, sweet, sweet. <laughs> oh, walking weather. These guys are unbelievable. <laughs> so, I can't move my head too much. I'll sit myself on fire. <laughs> <laughs> In the past, uh, we have one of the ghosts live inside the big forest. When tribe uh, were fighting, and this ghost uh, that uh, normally comes at night and then he used to fly in the air and then shout into the community and then he said that uh, the fight from this tribe will be going to win, win the fight. That's the spirit that uh, uh, the boys here they perform now. The spirit of the decider of the fight. One camp here, one camp here. Oh, he'll come okay. from the air and he'll fly to the one. Okay. That one, that one will win. Yeah. They are fighting for land for so many years. So now they are starting, but their spirit I uh, can decide who will be the winner. Okay, the spirit starting to shout in, trying to join one of the tribe now. They are fighting now. That's Ubala, that's Ubala. Ouch, ouch. <laughs> so that's the uh, guy used to fight strong, so now we kill it because the spirit from this side uh, was joined them and then give support to them. So their spirit is belongs to the other tribe. Good job, guys. Thank you. Thanks, guys. This is a story about orphans. If children are orphans, they stay in the villa. He said for about three years, and the locals come and feed them. We bury people.
Don't stand on him. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> so the sorcerer is going to come remove the dead body. No more dead body lying in the grave. That dead body lost. The sorcerer took, took the body away. The sorcerer took the dead body away. No more dead body lying in, in the grave. <laughs> We're on our way to a really remote area in the Western Highlands. It's very hilly. Five minutes stop. These guys are painting their faces. Very, very intricate. It's beautiful. Me, me like him. You like him? He's applying oil. This headpiece is stunning. This is the original bird of paradise. This is a parrot. And this is the, uh, what do you call it, uh, in Tok Pigeon we call it milk, but then in English, I might not, I'm not sure. Okay. This, this is the, another bird of paradise categorized. The actual bird of paradise in, our, in the emblem of Papua New Guinea is this one. Is the, the brown and yellow. Yeah, brown and yellow. Yeah. Wow. And then, this is the pigeon. Special pigeon, uh -huh. a special pigeon that is in our place. Uh -huh. And likewise to this one, is the, it's more or less like an hawk okay. or eagle. That's an eagle. Wow. This one is another bird of paradise. That, that's his tail, the mm -hmm. bird's tail. And this is the body. Wow. It has a blue on its breast. This one. And this is the... Uh, what do you call? We have it on our tent to a coin, the cascas. It's the the cascas fur. Okay. We skin it and then dry it. So we use it for our traditional headdress. So, so is that headdress belong to this man? Yes, that is private. Private, so it's yeah. private. Special headdresses symbolize special status in the community. <laughs> Uh -huh. So that is private. Okay. He is the magistrate. So that is. He's the magistrate. Uh, yes, he's the magistrate. So that ah, is. Ah, so he has a very special uh -huh. one. Yes. This is the kirasel from the coast. Uh -huh. And then this is the bead grown. For a. And then this is another shell from the coast. Uh -huh. And then this one, small cells from the coast. Those are beads. They symbolize different things. Different things. Beautiful. In different stages of that person wow. in the community. That was really interesting. Thank you for yeah. telling me. And this one it is a uh, moss, moss. Moss grown on the tree. Okay. Wow. In the bush. This is the uh, yes. Good morning. wine. Good morning. Whipped. And then they nah, weave that one. Nah, Sometimes they do it with small bamboos, but then... Yeah. So they pull it apart and they put it in the box. Each piece is kept apart. Kids' headdress. Yes. That's the difference. 
when you get that.
Thank you very much for today. Thank you. So next year we will try also to help you guys to bring more tourists here. I see they are improving the road a little bit already. Yes. So maybe they can do it the whole way and that would be fantastic. Because we are always a little bit scared about rain and getting stuck with the bus. But once that is okay then we can uh, uh, bring more tourists next year and I will work together with uh, Mr. Nick to, to bring uh, more tourists. So many people here. <laughs> really. Very nice, but it's also very big, right? So we will do our best to help you and uh, bring tourists here. Thank you very much. Thank you, David.